A man once said, everything you want to know about yourself, you can learn in 26.2 miles. So that's exactly what I'm doing is I signed up for a marathon May 21st. So I was training for a marathon last year. I think it was going to be October 20th or something like that. Well, anyway, it got canceled because of COVID. I could have very easily signed up for another one um, because I was ready. I was prepared. But about a month before, they actually canceled it. And I stopped my training altogether. So therefore... I kind of didn't really go to the gym, I didn't really run. It was winter time and I was just like, eh, I'm going to enjoy the holidays while they're here. Uh, so in January is when I officially started really lifting again, started really running again, started really training for this marathon again. I knew I wanted to do something crazy this year. I have something crazier planned for later in the year after the marathon. I'll go ahead and tell you what, what that is after I complete my marathon. But for right now, it's all about marathon prep. So right now, I don't really have a true training split for uh, my marathon. Um, it's kind of, like right now, I just ran 20 miles last week. This week will probably roughly be 20. And then I want to gradually increase to about 50, um, about two weeks before marathon. And then the week of the marathon, I'm going to do basically no running, maybe some slight jogs. Uh, but... My schedule is very weird, as many of you know. I work six days in a row and then I have eight days off. I work 12 hour shifts. So after that 12 hours to lift and run, it takes a lot. I basically go to work, um, go to the gym, do my stuff, come home, go to bed. I am staying at an Airbnb right now. Uh, so that's nice because it's only like 15 minutes from work. But yeah. Uh, Splits are totally different. Um, I definitely hit upper body, like chest and tries twice a week, back and buys twice a week. Legs, I'd say once, just because with running and everything. And I don't really go super hard on legs. Um, my legs aren't the biggest, they aren't the bulkiest. They're pretty toned, but yeah, I'm, I'm more focused on the running, um, but I definitely want to keep my upper body strength and just that, that look that I have. But Running wise, like I said, I'm gonna gradually work my way up about 10% each week. Uh, I just kind of run when I can because I have no real set schedule. Uh, I think that's one good thing with me is I'm disciplined enough. Most people, they say, okay, I'm going to the gym at this time every single day. If I don't go to the gym at this time, I'm not going for the day, but that's not me. I make it happen no matter what. My longest run so far has only been 10 miles. I'm working my way up to eventually be running closer to 50, 60 miles a week. And then on my long runs, I want them to be closer to 20 miles, maybe 26 miles. Um, that's kind of where I was at last time. So beforehand, my longest run was 17 point so miles. And I ran it the whole time. Uh, there was no walking. And I... I did it. It was it was good. Um, I only knew that I had a month left to prepare for that marathon, but unfortunately it got canceled. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So today is, what, February 17th? So like I said, my marathon is May 21st, and I run probably three to five times throughout the week. Um, I was going to go for a pretty long run today, however... My legs are a little sore from yesterday because I did a, a five mile run. Anyway, throughout all of this, I'm also continuing to lift. So that's why I got the title hybrid athlete. So what is a hybrid athlete to me is somebody who can run a marathon under four hours as well as rep 225. Can already rep 225 pretty easily uh, for about eight. But um, the marathon thing, I don't quite have it yet. So that's my goal ultimately is to run the marathon under four hours. However, if I can get closer to three, that'd be awesome. So during my training, do I prefer a treadmill or outside? Because today you can obviously say that I bundled up pretty good. It's pretty cold. Um, I prefer outside just because I hate being on a treadmill and being in one place. And I just stare at the numbers compared to being out here on the trail. Um, I'm pretty far from home right now, I'm about three miles from home, and then I run three miles back. So like on a treadmill, I can just stop whenever I want. 
But out here, I have to actually run to where I want. And if I want to get back home, I have to run home. There has been one time where like, I had to call my wife and say, hey, I'm not gonna make it home on time. Ran a little far, can you come get me? Um, so she did that. Uh, but generally I'm pretty good with like time management. Um, the biggest thing that I hate is running on the roads, like on a busy road, because cars will drive by right past me. Like there are several times when I can reach out my hand and I could probably touch the car. Uh, also, I hate it when cars don't slow down because some of them go by pretty quickly. Um, a little bit of snow out here today actually, but overall, I definitely, definitely prefer running outside than a treadmill. Now, if it is, I say 25 is like my limit. If it's below 25, I'll typically hit the treadmill or if it's late at night, um, I've never ran at night with like a spotlight on, uh, maybe one day, but right now, not for me. So the marathon that I'm doing is Lake Wilhelm in Pennsylvania. So if any of you are watching this and you want to go ahead and join me, uh, feel free. Like I said, I'm going to be documenting the whole journey from my prep to race day, uh, all my meals, what I'm going to bring, if I'm going to eat anything. I know some people pack little gel packs. Uh, I didn't have any of those in my last prep. What I did was I just brought snacks. So like pretzels and Swedish fish or gummies or something to give me sugar and salt, basically. Uh, I just wanted to replenish my electrolytes. Sometimes I'd even bring like a little Gatorade bottle. Uh, honestly, it's just, I need something. You're running that far, you need a little bit of something in you. Like I said, it is uh, May 21st. I had a person reach out to me on Instagram and say, hey, I'm doing the marathon in Pittsburgh, but it's the beginning of May and I don't, I will be ready for a marathon by then, but will I get the time that I want? I don't know. I want that extra month to, uh, to go ahead and train basically. And actually I lied. My marathon is June 4th, June 4th, not May 21st. I was looking at one that was May 21st, but, uh, this one is actually June 4th.